In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the Astro Toolbox from the MATLAB environment in a simple reconstruction script. In this script, we'll simulate projection data from a phantom image and we'll then use that simulated projection data to do a simple reconstruction using the CERT algorithm. So we will start by creating a phantom image. This is done with the phantom function that is built into MATLAB and we specify the size. So let's say we want a 256 by 256 phantom image. If we then run this algorithm and show the result, we get indeed a 256 by 256 Shep Logan phantom. The next step is to create um, or to simulate projection data of this phantom image. To do that first, we need to define the experimental setup. So we need to define a volume geometry and a projection geometry. The volume geometry is created using the function astra create volgeom, where you then have to specify the number of pixels that you want to have. And in, this, and in our case, it's 256 by 256. The projection geometry is also created using astra create geom. And let's say for this example, we want to have a parallel beam set up. The detector width should be one. There should be in total 256 detectors. And we want our projection angles to be equiangularly spaced between zero and pi. And let's say we want to have 100 projection angles in total. The next step is then to actually create or to simulate the projection data. We do this with the function astra create sino and because we are uh, using the gpu code here let's say astra create cre astra create sino gpu we specify the image that we want to project and we also specify the projection geometry and the volume geometry and then the output of this function is an identifier to the sinogram which is created but if we want also the sinogram as a matrix if you now run this, then we get the sinogram in our workspace. And if we show this, it looks like this. So indeed, this is the sinogram. Each row of this uh, data object corresponds to one single projection of our Shep Logan phantom in one particular direction. The next step is to allocate some memory in the Astra toolbox where we will store the reconstructed volume. This is done using the Astra max data 2D function where we specify that we want to create a volume object with the volume geometry and we want to initialize it to zero. And then the result of this function is an identifier to our reconstruction volume. The next step is to configure the reconstruction algorithm. We do this using a configuration struct where we specify that we want to have the CERT algorithm and also that we want to have the CUDA version of it. And then we have to add two parameters to this configuration, namely the projection data ID which is the sinogram ID that we created before, and then also the reconstruction data ID, which is the reconstruction ID that we just allocated. Then we call Astra max algorithm, create with our configuration struct, and this will return an identifier to an algorithm. This algorithm we can then, oops, made a typo here. This algorithm we can then iterate using the astramix algorithm iterate function. We then specify which identifier of the algorithm and let's say we want to do 100 iterations. After this is done, we can um, retrieve the reconstruction data into the MATLAB environment. This is done using Astra max data 2D get, and then we add the reconstruction data ID. And store this into a 
MATLAB matrix. And then finally, we have to think about our memory management here, and we have to delete all the objects that we have created. So we do astra mix data 2D, where we then delete the sinogram ID and the reconstruction volume ID. And also the algorithm we will have to delete. So we type astra mix algorithm delete the, L, the identifier of the algorithm. So that should be it. If we now run this script and if we then visualize the result, we indeed get a reconstruction of the ship Logan Phantom.